task 5.2 is the purchase document. In this task, we're going to learn all the transactions that are related to purchase. So first, we click at the purchase and we're going to start to record request quotation. To create a new request quotation, you have to click here and the first quotation, we choose supplier A. And after that, the RQ number, we will just follow the system numbering. And then we change the date to 5th of May. And we insert the first line of the item code ACCL001, quantity 200. Second line will be PHL001. The quantity is... 100 and the third line the item is BHL002 and the quantity is 10 after you have done before you save you have to tick after save because we have another one then you just click save now we proceed with the second quotation supplier B we change the date to 5th of May as well. The first item is PHN002. And we key in the quantity of 30. Before you save, you must untick the after save and then only you save. The next instruction, we are going to create the following purchase order full transfer from request quotation. So, in this instruction, we are going to learn how to actually use the uh, transfer function in AutoCAM system. Okay, so we close from the quotation first. To record the purchase order, we go to the purchase and then click on the purchase order. Then, we need to create a new purchase order the first step is to choose the debt creditor so the creditor is supplier 1 and the second step is you need to click on the transfer document function there and you need to choose you want to transfer from where so we choose to transfer from request quotation so here you got full transfer means that you agreed to transfer everything from the request quotation okay and then if you click on the partial item transfer mean only certain item that you agreed to transfer from the quotation to the purchase order so for this one we are going to transfer full so you Tick at the box there for the full transfer and look at the RQ number. And after that, you just click OK and it will transfer everything to the purchase order. And then you have to change the date to 6th of May. Before you save, you have to tick at the after save because we have the second one. Then only you click on save. For the second PO, we choose of the creditors, which is supplier B. And then we click on the transfer document. Transfer from request quotation also. is a full transfer as well. We tick that and we click OK. And then we change the date to 7th of May. This one you have to untick the after save. Then only you proceed with the save button. The next one will be the good receive note. So we close from the purchase order and we go to the purchase. And then we choose good receive note. So to create a new good receive note, we just click at the line there. And first we need to choose the creditor so we click on the supplier one 
and after that for this good receive note we need to transfer as well so we choose transfer document this time we need to transfer from purchase order so for this one we are not going to transfer full but we are going to transfer partial so the first item that we are going to transfer is ACL001 so for ACL001 you can see there and you can see at the original quantity there is 200 but the only quantity that we are going to transfer is 150 so you have to key in, in the new quantity there the second item that we are going to transfer is PHL01 original quantity is 100 and the only quantity transfer is 80 and the third line will be 10 so original quantity 10 here 10 and you have to tick that to use and for the second and the first one just now you have to tick as well then after that what you need to do is you just need to click ok to transfer all the quantity that you have choose and you can check at the subtotal there whether correct or not and you can start to key in the supplier do number 13555 and then the date is 8th of May after you have done that you can just click save button to save your good receive note the next one will be the purchase invoice so you close from the good receive note and we go to the purchase and then we click on the purchase invoice so we create a new purchase invoice the creditor is supplier a so we have to choose the supplier a and after that for this purchase invoice we need to transfer as well so we choose transfer from good receive note and after that this we are going to transfer full so you can check at the good receive note number whether correct or not gr001 and then we tick and click ok to transfer so you can just put in the supplier invoice number there and then you change the date to 8th of May after you have done you can just click on the save button to save next is to create the purchase return partial transfer from invoice so I close everything and I go to the purchase again and I choose purchase return so I create a new purchase return and I choose the creditor which is the supplier one and after that I click on the transfer document so we need to transfer from the purchase invoice so this time we are going to transfer partial so the only item that we're going to transfer is PHL002 so we have to find PHL002 there and we need to see the original quantity and we put in the new quantity which is 1 so tick that and click OK to transfer one quantity and after that you have to key in the supplier CN number which is 889988 and you have to change the date to 10th of May after you have done you can just click on the save button to save the next one is to create the cash purchase so I close from everything Okay, then I go to the purchase and cash purchase so for this cash purchase I need to create a new one okay but for this one I don't have to transfer so first step is to 
choose this creditor which is supplier 3 so I just click and then choose supplier 3 okay and then since this one we not we don't have to transfer I change the date to 9 of May then I insert the supplier invoice number which is 121212 and the first line item code is PHN01 the quantity is 1 the second line is PHN003 so when I find PHN003 it's not there so what we need to do we need to create a new one so to create a new one we click at the new button there it will link to the new entry of your stock item so to create this stock first you have to go to the group so you have to assign the group so the group of this stock is the phone and the item type is Nakia the next thing to do is to click on the plus sign to generate the item code and then you key in the description which is Nakia 990 the only information that we have is standard cost and standard selling price so we key in standard selling price 650 and the standard cost is 200 for the stock level we don't have any information so we just skip that part and we click ok to save so now the second line is PHN003 so we just need to put the quantity which is 1 so for cash purchase you can see it's either you pay by cash credit card multi-payment or credit purchase for but for this one we are paying to this supplier by cash so when you click cash you can see the supplier do number was missing you see want to continue yes because we don't have any do number so here it's a net total of 600 you have two method first is by key in 600 and another one by click f5 in your keyboard to pay everything so I click on the F5 to pay everything and it will be automatically saved and you can see the outstanding will become zero.